They're chipping away at the Second Amendment, chipping away at the First Amendment. And you'll recall that we went to Dallas there during the JFK Memorial, and we got into a little kerfuffle there with a police spokeswoman who basically told us that by standing next to the road, we were violating two city ordinances. One of those was carrying signs and handing out flyers um, in public next to a public roadway. Well, we're going to just go ahead and call this the Alex Jones Law. This is actually breaking on InfoWars today. Kit Daniels wrote this story. Now, Dallas, the Dallas City Council, has expanded that ban on the First Amendment to outlaw anyone who the city claims to be distracting motorists. Before, where it was you couldn't be within 75 feet of a freeway or service road and holding a sign, now they've changed that ordinance to just be anyone that who they arbitrarily want to say is distracting a motorist. They said they changed the ordinance in a manner to protect the public's interest in free speech while regulating conduct that endangers safety. Oh, there it is again for our safety. So once again, they're going to arbitrarily just enforce these laws whenever. I'm sure they're not going to take down the sign spinner who is directing motorists in to go buy a pizza or to get some new insurance. Or maybe the college kid who is holding the sign to say, hey, we're holding a car wash here. I mean, maybe they could go after those people if they need to make a quota and, you know, get a, get some 500 extra dollars because that's how much this, the tickets are going to be. But I'm pretty certain that they're going to enforce this more so when there is a political rally or dissenting opinion or a crowd gathering. And, of course, here they're saying shutting down this, this free speech. That uh, The First Amendment isn't just about speech. It's also about assembly. So... Yes, you're violating the First Amendment with this. And because this is breaking at InfoWars right now and Alex Jones uh, is, is with his family today, just wait till he gets word of this. I cannot see. We'll have to listen to the show on Sunday and see where Alex Jones takes this story. But the thing that is really insulting is that they don't think that you are smart enough to understand what's going on. They don't they don't think that you're really that that bright to get what's going on with the NSA and how big of a deal this is. That's why, of course, the mainstream media is doing its job. Congresswoman Jane Harmon went on MSNBC last night to discuss the news that the government appointed Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board had ruled that, yes, the NSA's phone spying program was illegal, it should be terminated, and it had not led to the apprehension of a single terrorist. So that was very big breaking news on MSNBC. Take a look. Congresswoman, let me interrupt you just for a moment. We've got some breaking news out of Miami. Stand by, if you will. Right now in Miami, Justin Bieber has been arrested on a number of charges. Can you believe that? What on earth are they thinking? That is why the MSNBC and the mainstream media is going the way of the dinosaur. They interrupted a very important discussion that affects us all, not just here in America, but globally, something that people who want real news are very concerned with. They interrupted that and said, Congresswoman, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, breaking news, to, to give you this earth-shattering revelation about Justin diaper pants beeper going to Bieber or whatever going to court. I mean, my goodness. And that that allows them to say, oh, well, you know, we covered the NSA story while downplaying it and then just blanket covering it with this complete non news. That is ridiculous. Were you watching MSNBC last night? Are you a 14-year-old girl? I mean, that is what they think. They don't think that you are smart enough or that you care enough to know about the NSA. And then when we're actually being given an opportunity to, to say, wow, this NSA thing is illegal, it should be shut down, an opportunity for the American people to actually stand up and do something about it, they say, oh, wait a minute, you guys aren't, you don't really care about that. You care about Justin Bieber. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's why, you know what, good for them, because they're just allowing the authentic media to fill the vacuum where this news is actually missing. 
My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. See the rest of the nightly news at our sister YouTube channel, The Info Warrior. Or become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv and help us take the message of freedom and liberty to the next level. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.